This may be kind of hard to understand, but we're actually going to the exact same spot that we were at yesterday, except for this time, we're going to be heading there at night. And well, you're going to see just how much difference it makes. All right, guys, here we are. We're back at the awesome walleye spot. Now we just got to get lucky and actually catch a walleye. So here's where we're actually fishing today. We're fishing in the exact same spot as yesterday, like I said before, but the location is right here just south and a little bit west right here next to Spire's Drop, right in this little inlet right here and right here is where we're going to be fishing for walleye and we're going to be doing it at 1800 at night. So what we're going to be fishing with is we're going to be using a minnow as well as a leech and we're going to be fishing really deep so we're going to set our leader to 4.6 feet down. We'll be fishing as deep as possible and we're going to try and cast out to the perfect spot. Give her a toss out there and see what happens. Oh, you can see really good now. Fish on. Hey, fish on. Uh, it may actually be a walleye. Hey, we got our first walleye. There we go. First walleye ever. It's a bronze and a two pounder. So not that big, but hey, that is our first official walleye. So we're as deep as we can possibly go. This time we're going to throw a little more towards those lily pads out there and see how that works. So now when we get a hit, it should just make a sound and the bobber should go down as well. But it's not going to say strike. Oh, look at that wall. Dude, look at that wall. He's going to hit it. He's going to hit it. He's right below it. He's right below it. No freaking way. How cool was that? Are you kidding me? That's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. Oh my God. That was so cool. Man, that was amazing. I've honestly never been so excited in a fishing game before, right below our bobber. Oh my God, that was cool. It actually may be a silver, it's a little bigger as well. Let's get him in. I uh, don't know why we can't quite get this fish in here, but. There we go, we got him. It is a silver, nice, nice walleye. There we go, our biggest walleye so far. Almost an eight pounder as well. Oh, that was so cool. I can't get over how amazing that was to watch happen. Look at that fish. You're talking, it's about an 18 incher, uh, eight pounds. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful walleye. I'm so happy with that. Wow. All right, let's give it a cast back out there. So it seemed to work really good right here. And not only that, our light actually shines into the water a little bit and it helps us be able to see. Holy, that was a far cast. We absolutely bombed that thing out there. Now imagine watching a huge gold or even potentially a giant diamond walleye come up and take our bait. There we go. You couldn't see that one, but that thing went straight down. Straight down. I don't believe he's quite as big, but it is in fact another walleye. Yep. Nice walleye. That's an interesting position. Now we're actually lipping the walleye. I don't really know if you'd be doing that in real life because I'll tell you what, they got some sharp teeth, real sharp teeth. What you could do is you could gill them. You could put your finger right on the edge of the gill, like right between. It's very difficult though, because you could cut yourself from the gill too. You gotta be careful, but there's a way that you can uh, gill a walleye to be able to hold it, but you're definitely not gonna lip them like that. That's for sure. I literally just saw one right in front of us. Where'd he go? Oh, getting a bump. Another bump. Oh my God, that was perfect. This actually might be a decent fish because the way that he nibbled at it like that, sometimes the big ones do that. I don't think it's going to be big though. 
Ah, uh, what did we just catch? Literally a two pound sturgeon. And it's a bronze. That's the smallest sturgeon that I've ever seen. I mean, you're talking a minnow, basically. <laughs> like an oversized minnow. I knew he hit it strangely. There, there was something about the way that that fish hit it. And I knew it wasn't, you know, like a normal walleye. All right, we'll try and get a little closer this time. And see if we can't get it out here. Right out towards those lily pads. Perfect. Oh. That's a big walleye. Oh, he just pounded it. Oh my god. Oh, that's a fish. That's a gold. That's potentially a gold walleye. Oh, wow. That's a nice fish. I mean, he's not fighting as hard as I thought he was going to, but... Yeah, I don't think it's a gold. It's a nice size silver, though. I mean, there's a chance. It's going to be a nice silver. That's what it's going to be. A nice silver. Yeah, a nice silver. Five and a half pounder. So you're saying 1.95 feet. Probably like a 16, 17 inch walleye. Very nice fish. But still not getting any big gold just yet. It was still cool watching him come over and taking it though. That was really cool. I do quite enjoy that. Oh, we really chucked that one out there this time. Right at that line where it goes from light to dark right there. There's a fish right on it. Look at right on it. There's a fish. He hit it almost instantly. I'm just blown away at the fact that we're in the exact same spot that we were at yesterday and we couldn't get a single walleye, but we came here at dark and now we got walleye just pounding every couple seconds. Another walleye and another walleye. Looks like a decent silver, maybe a small bronze. Yeah, it's a bronze. Two pounder. That was so cool how he was right on it, like instantly. As soon as we threw it out there, he was on it. Oh, getting a bump. And that is a nice fish. Ooh. This fish has some weight. That's because it's not a walleye, it's another sturgeon. Yep, it's a sturgeon. All right, let's try it a little deeper this time. Maybe we'll go out here. There we go. I have confidence that this spot actually just may work. Oh, a fish just jumped up right there. Getting a bump. Fish on. Oh, that is what we like to see. Oh, he is ripping out drag. That is a big fish. Hopefully this might be a gold. He's got some weight to him. A lot of weight. If it's not a walleye, it could be a catfish. But I'm going to say it's probably going to be a nice walleye. Let's see. Is it a catfish? It is a catfish. No wonder why. Decent catfish. Silver channel cat. 5.8 pounder. Look at that. Nice. Holy. That thing just pounded it. Wow. Might be another catfish. He took it way too fast. Usually the walleye nibble on it a little bit. And this thing just pounded it. It's another catfish. Actually, it's one of those, uh... It's like one of those dogfish things. Oh, it's a northern pike. First northern. Wow. Well, we've been lucky enough not to get too many of them. 
What is that? What is that? What is that? There's something big coming towards it. What in the heck? Oh, it is a walleye. Oh, that was cool. He's on it. And he's hooked. I don't think he's quite big enough to be gold, but I mean, he's decent. It's so funny, like, all you could see is his fins when he's swimming like that. And I just realized, what if there was like rare fish? Wouldn't that be cool? Alright, let's get him up. Alright, let's get him up. Oh, what the heck is going on here? There we go. Missed him twice. It's another silver. That's actually a two-footer. Wow. So a 20-incher. Six and a half pounds. So not quite as big as the uh, eight-pounder that we got, but he's a little bit longer. It is kind of interesting how some of the fish you can see going towards the bait and other ones, they're just like there. And, you know, you don't know where they come from. They're just on it. Like that thing went straight down. You know, who knows what it's going to be? I really couldn't tell you. But I kind of doubt it's a walleye. Oh, it is a walleye. Jumped right out of the water and everything. Huh. Yeah, small little bronze. Imagine if we casted it right out and the bobber went straight down like instantly. Oh, that's a nice fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think he's going for it. Oh, yeah, he's right below it. Eh, it's not as big as I thought. Decent one, though. Uh, probably like a big bronze, small silver. Yeah, it's a silver. Three and a half pounder. It's interesting that even a seven and a half pounder can be silver all the way down to a three and a half pounder. Oh, almost lost that one. Oh, he's pulling some drag. Right, another decent silver. What is that one there? Oh, nice fish. Jumped around out of the water and everything. I mean, we literally have him on top of this rock here. Just lift him up. Silver again. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish just jumped up right there. That was a nice fish. Let's see if he comes for it. I don't see him anymore. Where'd he go? He was right. He was right there. I think that's him. Yeah. Again, a good fish, but it's just not going to be gold. We almost had him already. All right, come on. There we go. And another silver. Are there any golds here? Is the question. Maybe what we'll do is we'll sit here and watch. To see if we see any huge fish swimming around. And if we do, then we can cast out right where they're at. There's a couple right there. Look at that. Two fish there. I lost them. Oh, he's right there. They're all exactly the same size. One's got a fight to him. But he's not much bigger. I mean, he's a good silver for sure. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, another silver. Alright. Let's go deeper and maybe go out there. 
Oh, what we should try and do is throw some crankbaits out here now. Maybe that would get the big fish to hit. I wouldn't mind doing that, but the problem is we only have one rod that's decent with good line. And so, yeah, we could either use... Wait, is that a big fish there? That's a big fish right there. There was something massive that jumped out of the water. Oh. Oh. That's what I like to see. Oh. Now that is a nice fish. What do we got? Uh, that's a good size walleye. Another silver. This fish has some weight to it. This fish has a lot of weight to it. Oh my god. What the heck did we hook into? This may be our first goal potential. I am not kidding. We can't gain any ground on this fish. It's either a nice catfish or a huge gold potential walleye. He's finally starting to come up a little bit. But this fish is pounding it. Oh, it's coming out of the water here. Let's see what we got. It's a catfish. It's, it's a nice catfish, don't get me wrong. A real nice catfish, but silver catfish. That's why he fought so hard. I can't get a single hit on this crankbait. So anyways, unfortunately we did not get a big walleye. We did get quite a few decent walleyes though. We just didn't get any golds or diamonds. But that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back. We will definitely be back in the future to try and get some giant golds or maybe even our first potential diamond. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.